Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Back to School Vegan. If you have not watched the breakfast and lunch episodes, you should definitely check those out. The playlist is right up here and I'm going to leave the links down in the description box. You definitely don't wanna miss those videos because there are some awesome, awesome meal ideas in there for you. But today I wanted to focus on you guys that are living in a dorm room. Our first ramen hack is a ramen mac and cheese. Most people, most students can just go and buy some KD, whip that up, call it a day. We can't do that, we're vegan. We can't have that weird cheesy powdery stuff. The first thing we are going to do is cook our ramen. The way that I cooked ramen when I was in a dorm room was just put it in a bowl, add the ramen, add hot water from my kettle, and let it sit for two minutes, that's it. That's it, and then you have ramen. And while you're waiting for those two minutes for the ramen to cook, you can make your cheese sauce. Put some almond milk in a mug, add some cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, or you don't wanna buy cornstarch, or you don't like cornstarch, if you have an issue with cornstarch, just leave it out. So we're just mixing together our almond milk. We're gonna add some cheese. So I like to start with about a quarter cup of veggie cheese, whatever vegan cheese you like the best, or cheese substitute. Add that to the mug, and then we're going to cook that in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it's melted. So I'm gonna take this out, gonna mix it up, and then we're going to put it back for another 30 seconds, and do that until you have melted cheese sauce. It'll take, depending on the microwave, it should take between one and two minutes. Now that you have the cheese sauce, all you have to do is combine your two minute noodles with your two minute cheese sauce, Mix them together, add a little sprinkle of salt. I find veggie, like vegan veggie cheese, some of it just isn't salty enough, so add a little bit of salt, or take that flavor packet and just like use it as a salt, um, and just mix it together. And there you have delicious vegan mac and cheese in your dorm room. While everybody else is eating KD, you're eating this deliciousness. Win, two thumbs up. Ramen hack number two is going to sound a bit weird, but trust me on this one. It's delicious, I made it for James, he loved it. It's an Asian ramen salad, super easy to make, super delicious. All you have to do is buy one of those pre-made like salad mixes, put that salad into a bowl, and mix up a quick dressing. Garlic powder, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, or whatever vinegar you have, olive oil, sesame seed oil, and then just add salt and pepper, and soy sauce, and just put it in a mason jar, and just shake it up. And that should be enough for one dressing, or make like a little bit more, and then you'll have more dressing, and you can make the salad maybe like the next three days for lunch or something. Now we're gonna take our dressing and our salad and just mix them together. Now that our salad is dressed, ready, to go for a big night on the town, maybe go sing some karaoke. We're gonna add some ramen because you want some crunchiness. So I like ramen on top of the salad because it's almost like crunching like those chow mein bits on top. So just crumbling the ramen on top, tossing it really quickly, and there you have it, delicious ramen salad. <music> hack number three is what I like to call a hack Number three, AKA cultural appropriation by Kylie Jenner. My Asian friends have been doing this since as long as I've had Asian friends. Um, but since Kylie Jenner like, like Snapchatted about it, apparently it's now cool. Now the Kylie Jenner slash Asians have been doing this for like 20 years version is to add like some sort of butter, garlic powder, and an egg. We're vegan, we don't eat eggs, so I'm going to use nutritional yeast instead. And we're gonna sprinkle it with some nutritional yeast and definitely get it all over the place like I, I just did. I'm a human, don't get mad at me, I make mistakes. And just mix that together, we're going to add a little bit of the ramen packet as well. You can add a little bit of the vegetable seasoning and it'll kind of be like a salt. Now you can just mix this up and eat it just like that. I like to add some just green onions on top and some cut up seaweed. This is just like those seaweed like snack things that you can buy in the individual packets and they're like a dollar. And that's how you make Kylie Jenner slash Asian people have been doing this forever ramen. So there you guys have it, three hacks to make your ramen less common. 
I, I'm definitely making your lives better, right? If, if you like this video and you want more dorm room recipes, give it a big huge thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Snapchat. So yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, give us a thumbs up so that we know and then we'll make more. If you didn't like it, um, I'm sorry. But also wanted to thank our Patreon supporters. If you guys want to help support us um, to produce these awesome videos every week, um, your support helps us buy groceries, helps us update our equipment so that we can keep making these high quality videos. So I'll leave a link below. If you don't want to, that's cool. If you want to, awesome. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Just put them in a Ziploc bag and then the day of, when you want some food, assuming that you have a microwave in your dorm room, throw it in